My name is Vita Purvash, Assistant Curator at the Ada Khan Museum. The painting that I'm highlighting today is actually one of those that is currently on display in our permanent gallery at the museum, and you can find it in the last showcase in the gallery. Um, as you know, as you might know, we rotate our works on paper twice a year, meaning that for single page folios, we replace them with new folios. And in case of manuscript, we make sure that to move the manuscript to another page that hasn't been on view for several years. And in this, in, with, with this method, we make sure that we, they, they receive a controlled amount of light and they're safe. Uh, we are actually towards the end of our current rotation and we're getting ready for our new installation that is coming soon. One of the greatest creative achievements of Muslim civilizations has been the production of illustrated manuscripts, with their exquisite and intricate paintings opening up ideal worlds and visions. This folio comes from a manuscript of the Kulliyat, collected works of verse and prose of the celebrated 13th century Persian poet Sadi. The Kulliyat contains great wisdom and knowledge, and as a result it continued to be copied and illustrated afresh over many centuries. The painting here once formed part of a manuscript made more than 300 years later, around 1604 at the Mughal court of India. There were more than 100 artists from many different religious and ethnic backgrounds employed in the courtly manuscript workshop of the Mughals, including the calligrapher of this manuscript, Abdul Rahim al Hirabi. He was a native of Herat in today's Afghanistan, and as a young calligrapher moved to India, to become one of the most celebrated calligraphers of Emperor Akbar's court workshop. He earned the title Anbarin Qalam, meaning amber pen, and later Roshan Qalam, meaning bright pen, for his superior skill. Beside the artistry evident in the poetry, its calligraphic rendering, and the images that visualize its ideals, this painting talks about yet another area for spectacular creativity, the art of the garden and horticulture. The type of garden shown here is known as charba, meaning four garden, and is an ancient Persian design concept traditionally symbolizing order and beauty in Persian culture. Its layout is based on right angles and geometric proportions. Its symmetry, which also includes creative and innovative modern management, is further enhanced by the careful arrangement of flowers and plants. All combines to evoke an earthly representation of the paradise gardens anticipated in the afterlife. 